How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back here in our video. So, of course, it's been a few weeks since I last had a diecast unboxing video, but we got a new diecast in the mail today. So, this is actually William Byron's 2022 Atlanta race win diecast. So, now uh, we have both of William Byron's Atlanta race win diecast. And yes, I actually didn't see um, William Byron revealed his new Raptor paint scheme today. And honestly, I like that Raptor paint scheme. I like it's a lot better than last year's Raptor scheme because that Raptor scheme last year it was boring and bland as fuck. But yeah, the Liberty scheme's already here. And also, before we get into boxing, I did I should also mention I did get these um, two HMS four packs with it as well because this is all the HMS throwback paint schemes here. I actually got all of these in like 124s. Like the only ones I'm missing in the 124s are Byron and Larson's. I got Elliot and Bowman's, and then all the Patriotic schemes here, too. So, yeah. So, yeah, I got some pretty cool four-packs here. Like, the only time I really buy 164s at this point now is, like, the four-packs of an HMS. But, yeah, I got those, too. But, anyway, got the knife right here in hand. Let's open it up as we're closing in on NASCAR season. Like, we're only a few weeks away from the meaningless bush clash at LA Coliseum. And about less than a month away from the 500. But, yeah, let's open up this race one diecast and take a look at it. So one quick slice right there, ought to do it, and open it up, and there it is right here, all in that wrapping right there, let's pull her right out, nothing special in there, this plastic can go bye bye, actually I probably could have thrown it in the trash, but I get that, but missed, anyway, let's unwrap it. So yeah, there it is. The Byron race win die cast right there, but you don't want to see it like that. So let's open it up and take a closer look at it. If I can open, thank you. Now we're going to pull it right out and check out all the neat stuff in here. So, um, we don't need this and this. That can go. But we do need this, the winner's sticker, which will go to the side of my collection of stickers that has gone bigger and bigger every time. And here is the hero card for William Byron's Atlanta win from the Fold of Honors 500. And of course, um, this race is also the final Atlanta race that will be 500 miles cause, because both because it's also been announced that both races at Atlanta this year will be 400 miles. Which honestly, I'm actually happy with that call. That's actually the right call to have them both 400 miles like... Like, the only races that should be 500 miles are the 500, the Southern 500. Um, the Bristol Night Race should be 500 laps. At least one of the Martinsville races, 500 laps. Um, I like the other race at 400 the same. And um, one of the Dega races should be 500 miles. The other, I think, should be 400. Like, you know, when we had the Daytona 500, the Coke 400 in Daytona. Yeah, and the Coke 600, of course. Can't forget that one. But yeah, I think Atlanta, having both race Atlanta at 400 miles is a good call. And also, Texas Motor Speed Race race this year, a.k.a. Texas. Their race is also going to be 400 miles, which that's a big W there. I mean, less we have to see if Texas Motor Speedway, the better. But anyway, enough chat. Let's open it up and take a look at the car. Floa. So yeah, as you can see with this car, I actually should grab the box real quick. So for this, they made 684 of these, so there's quite a few of these. And the entire thing is caked in confetti. And once again, it's kind of challenging to read the back of here for the number. Like, the number is 487. I can, well, I can see it a lot better than the Elliott one. The Elliott one, I can barely fucking read it. But yeah, still, very nice looking car. Actually, very clean for the most part. Well, usually most super speedway cars are kind of clean for the most part. But yeah, a very clean Liberty car here, here. So yeah. And the entire thing caked in confetti from the front and the back. Like, you can see right there on the back how caked in confetti it is. Like, you can barely even see anything out of the wind from the front windshield. Like, you know, I always like these cars that are caked in confetti. Really not, really adds a great element to it. So, yeah, nice looking car here. So, yeah, now I have all four of William Byron's career win dot race win die casts. So, yeah. Another Byron race win added to the collection. So yeah, nice looking car for sure. And that's not, and now I got both of his Liberty paint scheme wins here. And this time they actually sent me the right die cast. Unlike last year when they when I ordered a regular um homestead race win for Byron. And they sent me an elite instead. But yeah, still, nice looking car here for sure. But yeah, anyway, 
that'll wrap it up here. So, so far, I've gone every HMS race win of 2020 dude that's been produced up to Elliot and Dover. So, yeah, so far, looking pretty good. But, yeah, nice looking car here for sure, you know. Not bad looking. But, anyway, that'll wrap it up here. That's all I gotta say. And I'll see you all whatever I make next. NASCAR sees it quickly approaching. I'm out.